Hello everyone, this is your boy Austin Dewey Teen, aka Giovanni Huerta, and welcome to the final episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield after game. Now, this is the final episode of this series. Now, this does not mean that the Pokemon Sword content is going to be gone forever. It's not. I'm going to do actually Wi-Fi battles. I'm going to do so much more with this actual game than ever before, which this has been my goal ever since I ever truly started YouTube. Um, some of them are like role models were like Shady Penguin. Some of them were actually like, um, I forgot his name already. No. I'm just kidding. It's the King Nappy. So even though some people have hate on them, they were the ones that actually built me up to be the person I am today and the person you're watching. They're the ones that inspire me to do this and more. So there is other YouTubers that inspire me, like Goki Gamer. There's the Phantom Michael. If you guys have not like thought, seen his stream, yo, his his stream is on point. Especially with his song intro. Yo, I don't even know how he does it, but my boy kills it. My boy kills it. I want to get to that level someday, and I'm slowly going down. But anyways, uh, so without further ado, I know I'm blabbing on. Let's get on to the episode, and we could proceed with the conversation that we might have. So get your snacks, get your drinks, get everything you need, stay safe, and I'll see you momentarily. So the episode is finally going on. So... A couple of things that you're going to be seeing on the screen is these Pokemons are the Pokemons that I'm capturing throughout my journey. Like right now you're seeing I caught Vanilla, I caught Clink, Clinks, I think it was Clink. Yeah, you're going to see me catching a different amount of Pokemon. Now just know the fact that there is going to be some, certain scenarios that won't make sense. And the reason is because I caught most of the Pokemon through the Pokeball, but the other ones, I actually forgot to click record. So I ha actually had to show my, um, my Pokebox. Uh, I forgot how you even say that. Uh, I, had to I had to show the Pokemon in my PC, my bad. Uh, and then to show off some of the Pokemon that might not have been in the recording previously, like that I didn't record. To just keep it simple. So... If you see those certain scenes, just know that the Pokemon that I'm showing in that PC box are the ones that I didn't manage to record. Now, if whatever reason that made no type of sense, no worries. You guys are going to pay attention. If you guys pay attention, you're going to know what I'm talking about. And I might go back on it when the scene when the scene comes up again. So if you guys are still confused, no need to worry. I got you guys. So right now... This, these recordings that you're seeing right now, like I just caught the Stunky right now, this was recorded back in like January, I'm not gonna lie, this was back in January when episode 1 and 2 were just coming out, I think, no wait, no more, my bad, because episode 2, I actually did another montage of catching all the Pokemon, so these are not all of them. Because if you want to see all the Pokemon I actually caught, you actually have to see the whole entire series. And I think it's the first three episodes of the after game. But after that, you got this is like the, the last half. So I've been on this project for the longest, like five, five months. It is kind of insane. It's, it, it is kind of insane. But I don't want to jump out too much. And because this podcast might end up in a little weird angle and... But that's me, so if you guys are still sticking through this far, drop down a like and comment down below that you're still here. <laughs> you made it past the two minute. I should say the timer where you've been. If you do that, you're just a real MVP. If you do if you guys do that. But if you don't, it's alright. I'm cool with it. I'm still gonna proceed with this video. And yeah. So going back, I know in the last episode, which I think it was episode six or seven or eight, it's been a minute since I actually started recording this. Um I did mention that I'm going to do talking about a couple of things. And one of them is how I've been enjoying this Pokemon series. Like the Pokemon Sword series. Now this is the first Nintendo Switch like legit new game that I actually wanted to do. And honestly, let me just tell you. Like let me take you back on November 11th. Like November 11th. I just, I actually honestly was debating if I should get Pokemon Sword. And I was like... Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should because I heard like not all the Pokemon are gonna be here. But then I was listening to other people's opinions and blah blah blah. And then I just had to forget all that for a second and say I love Pokemon no matter how it is. So I said, "Frick it, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it." So I got Pokemon Sword. I was not gonna get Shield. 
by both games because I didn't do that for Let's Go Pikachu because then afterwards I learned that there's no point in buying two games unless you're actually a collector and then that's you, that's you. Everyone's to their own choice and opinions. So I just said, you know what, I'm just going to get Pokemon Sword. As a matter of fact, if I, if I could show you my 3DS games, I actually would get um, X and Y, Auras and Sapphire. So Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Then I got Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. No, 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 never mind. I stopped at Ultra. I, I stopped at Sun. I only got Sun and I didn't get Moon. Because the, at the end, the, both of them were the same games. So if I wanted any other uh, exclusive Pokemons, I just get. I had friends back then. And I still do. But that's how I'd get the extra mods. And plus, some of the exclusives weren't as good. I can't think of some in the top of my head. And yeah. And now moving fast forward like a couple of years now. Let's go Pikachu. It may not have been as successful. And I was still debating back then if I should get Sword and Shield. Even right at before I made that decision of saying, you know what, frick everyone's opinions and I'm still going to get it. So then even then, uh, I heard like the news, people, Pokemon were coming out. Gym leaders, gym leaders by the way, Bail, Bail, and I forgot the other one, the water gym leader, was beyond perfect. You guys know, I, this is a, I gotta keep a little PG, right? Um, get, if you guys have been on the dark side of Pokemon and um, on the gym leaders, like I know a couple of streamers do, <laughs> you guys already know what's up. It's kind of insane. <laughs> Honestly, the only reason I got sword, I, I okay, I got sword without thinking that Bayo and the other gym leader was there. I think it's Nisa, right? Nisa, Misa, one of those. I didn't get him because of that, <laughs> because that'd be just a dumb. Um, I just got it because I like sword, you know. Sword blue is blue is my favorite color. Uh, not actual blue. Royal blue is my favorite color. So that's a fun fact. And once I got Pokemon Sword and I actually played throughout the game. Now I'm really jumping out of topics. I'm, I'm going from like story to story, you know. This is like actually my first time. So if I'm doing okay, let me know. And if not, then I will definitely get myself back up and do it again in a, in a future podcast. Because that's what I want to do. I feel like podcasting is so much fun. And once I get the opportunity to do so, I will do it. Frick it. You know I'm just nervous and sometimes I'm stupid. Yes, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm the stupidest person you can find in the whole entire universe. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's me, eh? Uh, it might not work for everybody, but yeah. So go ahead, before I go into another whole entire tangent, let me talk about the Pokemons you're seeing right now. So, now, I believe when I caught this Drapion, I believe I caught it sometime in February. And I still wasn't done with the Pokedex. I think I believe I was at 190? I think I was still at 190 or 180 or something. I, actually, I wasn't even in the 100s. I was still probably in the 90s. That's how bad it was in my situation. So so let me go and take you guys back for a moment. And take you back to where I actually decided to get the Pokemon game. So I talked about how I used to be a collector. Just to sum up what I was in case for whatever reason you guys weren't paying attention. And I kind of confused the story a little bit because my fault. My bad. That's not my fault. So to just to summarize of what I was talking about is that I started off... As a collector of Pokemon, I used to do that. I used to get um, uh, both copies. So, like, I started off with Black and White 2. Uh, you know, this is kind of redundant, but I got Black and White 2. And then I started my Pokemon collection right after that. And it started, well, started off with X and Y. Then it was Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And then I stopped after that. Because I got regular Sun and then I got Ultra Sun for whatever reason. I just did it because it was the it was the next Pokemon game. I said, frick it, you know what? It's a new Pokemon game. I'm going to play it. But at the end, it still ended up being kind of the same. Just the differences is that Necrozoma had a final boss. And then aside from that, I actually have now actually completed the game. <laughs> That's how bad it was. I, I didn't feel it. I did not feel it for Ultra Sun. Honestly. It, it was... It's completely the same thing, just a little bit different, a little bit more side quests you could have done, a lot of interesting different mechanics, like the surfing, it just wasn't that good. I, I just didn't feel it. Maybe some people did, the only anticlimactic, like the actual like interesting part was the final boss. Like if you're doing a Nuzlocke, jeez, he would have destroyed your whole entire team. And especially if you decided to do a Shaded Lock on that thing, you just would have gotten wrecked. That's how it would have been. So, <laughs> so I wasn't doing Nuzlocke back then. Now... Once that all happened, I got Let's Go Pikachu. You guys already saw that. If you haven't checked out that series, definitely go ahead and check that out. 
I did a innovation lock, kind of similar. Actually, I didn't do an innovation lock. I did a, I think it was a pogi lock. I called it, but at the end, it was an elemental lock, where I was restricted to only catching certain type of Pokemon. I cannot think of the top of my head, but all I know is that I beat it at the end. I beat it. <laughs> I beat that game. I know there's a little bit of spoilers, but still, check it out, dude. This is a series that you do not want to sleep on. It was ridiculous. I got a shiny, by the way. <laughs> you got to go ahead and check that one out to see what shiny I got. And I actually, I was just dumb enough to almost avoid it and invade it altogether. So definitely go ahead and check that out. So now, I talked about my journey from there. Now we're going to a couple of months. Flash for a couple of months. Um, there's a lot of... Um, details that were released on Sword and Shield and some of the things that actually like got me to thinking if I should whether or not I should get this game but once I saw the starters once the starters were leaked and their personalities that that was like way before they actually released the final evolution I only knew the just the beginning portion so I only knew the personality that uh, I think it was um, a score bunny was supposed to impersonate someone who is just a fighter i think and it represented more of a human type of perspective more like of an enjoying and laughter now when we talk about grookey i think it represented something more of a more of a dancer than that entertainment industry more than that type of person now when we look at sobol sobol is the one that everyone loved maybe because most people in like are introverts and that's the person that a sobo represents and joyful and happiness and all that sort of jazz and that represented strong within me so i said screw it sobo <laughs> honestly i was at that point when i said sobo and everything and i saw sobo i knew that was my that was gonna be my starter and that was gonna be my pokemon and i at that point i guess self-consciously i just already decided i was gonna get sword so uh, without even knowing it now um honestly out of the two starters i'd have to say he, i feel like the starters did impact me in some way shape and form because well actually no it's not <laughs> because i love shield um zazamentas um Zake i don't even know how people pronounce it zakion zakion zacian whatever the pokemon's name that one didn't appeal to me as much as um zazamenta but that still at the end didn't even count the only reason I think I mentioned it earlier is because it was blue and I just love blue blue things and that's if you guys want to appeal to me you got to show blue things to me that's the only way I would love it. <laughs> Maybe that's why I love Sobo and then I love um, Inteleon at the end. So going back on the personality of the Pokemon even before I knew the evolutions that just in the end no matter what the end design because people were speculating that Sobo was going to have the best artwork. Then, even then, I didn't care. It, 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 the personality of Sobo just resonated within me. And I said, frickin' I'm getting Sobo no matter what. I don't even care if it's Final Evolution is trash. Then flash forward uh, two weeks before the game comes out. The starters are revealed and a, a bit of the gameplay was revealed. I saw a score bunny's Final Evolution. I don't remember its Final Evolution right now from the top of my head. Um. Uh, all I know is that it has Pyro Ball as his signature move, I think. Once I saw its design, I saw more of a of a Digimon Pokemon, kind of in a way, but still, it wasn't enough to change my opinion. And then once I saw Inteleon's design, it was so skinny, and at the same time it seemed like a secret agent. People just liked it. People just liked it. I, I, I know a couple of my friends from school actually said, oh, you know what, I don't like Score Bunnies. I mean, I don't like um, Sobo's Final Evolution, and I was just like, I don't care. I, I decided, even though I, I kind of agree that the other Pokemons do have a better design, like um, um Grookey's Final Evolution, Rillaboom, uh, it does have a pretty good design. It reminds me of Tarzan and a little bit of King Kong, and it still looks like Donkey Kong. And I love Rillaboom's design. In the end, I still agree that Rillaboom probably has the best design of the three. Second will come up uh, Score Bunny's Evolution. I don't remember his final name of evolution and then the Italian would be at the very last but when it comes to Pokemon that have super abilities I, I still feel like Italian comes out on top early on in the game I, I, st I still haven't personally used Grookey in a let's play so I really this is me being kind of biased I'm currently on another project I'm working on I'm actually using um a score bunny 
that would have been my second starter choice. Even though Grookey has a better off design, I, s I still have a passion for fire types right after. Because my favorite Pokemon before... If I had to choose a favorite Pokemon, I still don't have one. Uh, before it used to be Greninja, before it used to be Charizard, and I grew up with Charizard. I grew up with Charmander. I grew up with them. Now, call me overrated if you want, but <laughs> if I had to choose a Pokemon that was my childhood and my favorite back then as a child, it'd probably be Charmander, Charizard, Charmeleon. I don't care if people call me overrated and it's an overrated Pokemon. I don't care. Talking about Scorbunny and Grookey, right now you're actually seeing them. So these are the Pokemons that um, the Phantom Michael actually traded over so I could get them registered on my Pokemon. And my Pokedex. So, I think we might actually see the evolution. So, let's see. Give me a second. Uh, this is, um, Rillaboom, right? See? If you look at Rillaboom, it actually has a pretty good, nice design. Now, when you see Scorbunny evolve to a second evolution, it's kind of crap. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, never mind. Okay, Scorbunny is, uh, Scorbunny's second evolution is actually pretty hot. <laughs> it's better than Natalia. Alright. So your final evolution is, what is it called? Cinderace. Okay, I'll never remember that one. But yeah, Cinderace is right there. Honestly, Cinderace is okay. Okay, all, all, in general, I think the two other starters do have a better design. I'm looking them at right now that I just did. I do see they kind of do have a way better design then Sobo all together. That's kind of sad. <laughs> but I still decided that I'm going to have Sobo no matter what. I know I'm contradicting myself a lot of times, but my final decision is I still love Sobo. I don't care if it's design. I know people prefer the other two than Sobo himself, but I don't care. He's my boy. Sobo's my boy, all right? He's my boy to the point that I have him right here. Watch. <laughs> Sobo's right here. I actually got a plushie of him. This is my boy. This is my boy to the end. So... That's that. So once I decided who my Pokemon was, um, my Pokemon starter was, I got Pokemon Sword and I started doing a Let's Play. Now the difference between this, um, this Pokemon series and any other one is, the reason is that I actually decided to go ahead and not live stream it. Now the reason is, is not, is because the way that I would have to stream it is the way that I wouldn't be able to able to enjoy this game and I want to enjoy this game like I actually do want to enjoy it to its full that's why it took me forever now at some point this project dragged on for way too long so I had to do a, an all-nighter to finish this game and it took me even longer to even upload so <laughs> so I actually started um so I'll go more on that later on let me just talk at the beginning uh the reason I didn't stream it going back on that idea is that I didn't stream this is because I didn't like the way that I would end up streaming because the audio would have a latency. I mean, my commentary would have a latency to when I'm streaming and I don't like that. I wish I don't have a very expensive PC to be live streaming stuff that I'm not like Goki Gamer. <laughs> I'm not putting them out there. I just know there's, I should have invested into a PC and not into an iMac Pro, but you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. Either ways, I still got it done. I did what I have to do, and I'm dealing with the situation. Now, am I going to upgrade to a PC? Maybe not anytime soon. Probably not. Nowhere near. Uh, I don't even think I'm going to get a PC until later on. I don't even know when. That's still undecided, and it might, might drag my career down when it comes to YouTube, but it all depends on you guys. If you guys are enjoying this video content, so let me know that it, depending on how my views and everything's going so far, I might actually move on to that alternative and get a PC, but that all depends on how everything's going. If I manage to get a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, I would actually invest to it. Maybe not. <laughs> not even then. Even if I get a thousand subscribers and everything's going well, I gotta stick to where I'm at. And then once I'm ready with streaming and everything, I know streaming is a very popular way to get uh, that way and might be my only option. But if it does come to it, I'll probably just do regular streams like through the I know it's an amateur move but I would actually have to stream through the Elgato because if I just try to decide to stream through this um, laptop that's just being stupid <laughs> I, I am that is just being stupid I mean I could stream from it like just typical Pokemon showdown but that's all I'll be able to do and that very reason is why I'm not streaming again uh, I don't know when I'm gonna be streaming again and if I do it's still gonna be straight from the Elgato 
because that's the power that I need, and I still need it. <laughs> it's 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 ridiculously funny, but yeah. So for streaming, for me, it might be a very long time to do it. If I do it, it's because it's just gonna be a Switch game, and it might not even have the best face cam, which people do care about, and I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Even at the lowest settings, I feel like even at the lowest settings, I still can't stream. But maybe I had to toy around with it and see what I can do. So I'll see what I can figure out. And if I can make it work, I'll make it work. So in terms of streaming, it might be dragged on for even a longer period of time. But with that being said, let's go back to... I know I am telling you, I love conversating and giving out my opinions. And people may not even get this far into the 19 minute clock. Uh, if you guys are, then you guys are some real MVPs, by the way. Um, hearing me talk and blab is something that not everybody enjoys doing, but I do it because I want to have make the series have a proper ending. And what better way to do to a podcast? So now, flash forward to the project. The project, everything went well. Halfway through, it took me way too long. The series took me way too long than it should have. Uh, it came out in November 18th, I believe. And now we, I managed to get through most of the game. Past January. So November, December, one month by. Almost two months went by without me completing this. Now, that was an alarm clock to me to say I had to have finished this game. Because Goki Gamer already finished it. But I could see why he finished it earlier. is because he was streaming this every other day. I wasn't. I was recording. I was doing recording sessions after recording sessions after recording sessions. And I'm just a, play, a person that plays this game very slow. Apparently. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> I enjoy it more and that just gives me more of satisfaction. That's why I love this game. I mean, the story could have been better, obviously, and things could have been way much better. The plot at the very beginning, everything was just pretty whack to the point where it came to, if you guys, I'm assuming people are watching this because everyone finished it, so I think it's free of spoilers, so the very end of this game is just... They brought the final boss too weirdly, like Eternus. Like, come on, that was a very weird ending to bring him, bring him in. But whatever, they brought him in, and that happened. I am surprised that the way that this let's play went on, I still survived this. I still, I almost, I didn't win this. Unfortunately, I did not win this, but I survived one of the most toughest battles of my careers. That you could even rival that of. Uh, what was this Pokemon? This Pokemon's name is um, Necrozama's final in Ultra Sun and Moon. That final boss, the golden one, they call him the the God Pokemon, whatever. That Pokemon, it could rival to that. Uh, I know I really went really quick from one thing to another. So the way of the pacing of this game for me was too slow, so I decided to speed it up. Literally a day after New Year's, I think it was like. Uh, I think it was like the 2nd of, of December. And that's when I started to do all-nighters on this. I, I had to do all-nighters. I only did one all-nighter and I finished it in one day. Now that proves to me, reflecting back now, it shows... Excuse me. Excuse me, my bad. Um, that proves to me that I really... this I dragged this project too long. I could have done it in all-nighter and I would have been done. Maybe in three days, I could have been done with this game. Which is unfortunately kind of sad, but oh well, things played out the way they did. But the way that I displayed the project, it was just fine. It was fine. Uh, can't have too many complaints. Uh, my commentary could have been better because some of my audio was pretty crappy. I, I was I was testing since the time that Sword and Shield came out. I was testing out a new editing software. Now that did play a big role in the way that this project took. Because I had to get used to it. Because before I used Premiere Pro... And now I'm using Final Cut Pro, which is supposed to be better off for a Mac, uh, Mac system, an OS system. Now OS is short for operating system. Since I'm using an Apple, I heard that Final Cut Pro was way better. And towards the end, a lot of issues came up then and there. And finally, I have everything under control. I can do projects left and right without me being worried. I know how Final Cut Pro works. I know how Adobe Premiere works. I know how that works. Maybe. I haven't used an Adobe Premiere in such a long time, so I might be a little bit rusty, but give me a day and I'll figure everything out. But yeah. So going on to the project. The one of my so I was done by April I mean my bad. 
Uh, I was done with the project by January 2nd and 3rd. One of those days, I had to finish the recordings. The project didn't end until January 21st, I believe. I believe. I don't remember exactly the date that I finished this actual project. But whatever day, it was between late January. So, now that it reached January 21st, looking back, um, there was... I think I did a good way of doing the Shady Lock. I think I survived, and for the way that I played, um, Goki Gamer did play a huge role of why I did manage to go a little bit higher than him, because he did tell me that there is going to be a boss that's going to be very difficult, and that's where he ended off. Now, the boss that I'm talking about is actual, um, I already forgot the Pokemon, it was a Dragon and Poison type. Fun fact, uh, you know, if you haven't seen the series in the episode, definitely stop this um, podcast and go and watch that specific episode. I believe it was episode um, 33 or 32, one of those two. Definitely going to see the battle I'm talking about. I forgot his legendary Pokemon. Shoot. Oh, Eternatus. I just mentioned him. Oh, man, I'm a stupid idiot. <laughs> so it was Eternatus. And by the way, before I go and touch upon this. So this is me at some time... I got this outfit right after, actually it was not that long ago, it was in February. So I got this outfit in February, and let me know what you think about my off outfit designs. I don't know, you let me know in the comment section below if I did a good choice. Uh, this is what you're going to be seeing. My sister asked me if I was gonna go use the restroom, but you know what? I'm good, even though I just drank water, you know, I'll be fine. <laughs> so now you're seeing right now that I'm doing my card design. Let me know in the comments how well I designed this, because if I'm, if I'm designing it okay, if I'm not designing it that well, let me know, okay? I'm not the best in design. So we're actually almost making it halfway through this episode, and I'm still not done giving my thoughts and opinions. I swear, I could keep on this conversation for so long, but I don't want to do that. So, okay, so the project, it went great, had a little help from Goki Gamer, and that made me, gave me the enough push to grind up my Pokemon team to the point where Eternus was not that much of a problem. But even then, had it not been for Noctowl, this series would have ended off in Eternus, honestly, it would have ended off there. Because I didn't know what type it was, I didn't know it was Dragon, I didn't even know it was Poison, and if I had known, I think I would have had a better chance. But even then, I still survived. I, su I survived Eternatus. I survived its Gigantamax version. And then we move forward to the champion. Now, my thoughts on that battle. I'm only giving them, like, the key points and all that. I'm not going to be like, this is the summary of this review of this game. I'm just giving, like, my thoughts and opinions so far of how I was doing this. So that's how it is. Thinking about the gym. Now, going to the gym. The fine. Not the gym leader. Going on to the final boss. The champion. Honestly thought I was going to sweep it. But I did not expect a Shadow Ball. Uh, what was it called? Aegis Sash. Now that should be on my fault. I should have expected that from a mile away. That that would have been so problematic. But I did not. I didn't. And I apologize. That I didn't know. Um, for me being a dum dum, I didn't expect it. Aegis Sash should have been Shadow Ball, but I should have predicted it. Had I known, even then, I don't think I still would have had the Pokemon necessary to defeat the final gym leader. I mean, the champion. But I think I would have had a chance. But honestly, the way that things went, I think I did great. Uh, mistakes were done. And there's nothing that... Actually, as a matter of fact, if I had um, the Eternatus on my team, I think I would have won the gym leader. I mean, I would have won this uh, Shady Lock. But, uh, since I'm not a cheater and I don't use legendaries, I actually use Pokemon, then I lost, unfortunately, but that's the way it ended. So, with that being said, I enjoy this project, I enjoy doing this, and I will do future Pokemon Sword and Shield content, meaning like the Isle of Tundra and the Isle of Crown or something like that, like those parts, I'm doing that, I'm including it. So whenever those um, sections come out and release to the public... Best believe I'm going to do it. Now, it's still not 
not sure what I'm going to do about it. Am I going to use my current team or am I just going to use a brand new team? Is it going to be a new Shady Lock or whatever? I don't know how the game is going to be played, honestly. Depending on what it is and how it's going to be constructed, um, it might just be a regular Let's Play. And in that case, I'm going to actually record ASAP and upload ASAP, my boys. Since it is going to be June and I'm going to be free. Now, I'm going to get that content ASAP to you guys. Now, my stream, I still don't know. Even though I know I did mention earlier in this episode that I might not stream until, whew, until I get a good PC or something. Uh, looking back now, I might stream it. I don't know. It's just that audio latency on the capture card just bothers me, so I might have to record it. Okay, so remember at the beginning of the episode that I was talking about Pokemons? I mean, I was talking about the Pokedex. I mean, I was talking about the PC. So the scenes that you just saw that went like literally like this, right? So you saw a couple of PCs. So some of like some of the Pokemon from the PC is like those scenes. I put it for the very reason it's because the Pokemons. I didn't put arrows on the Pokemon that I did not manage to record the capture on. Meaning, for example, um, let's see, we had a PC box, right? You see a bunch of Pokemon. But one of the Pokemons in that PC box section, like let's say Pokemon Box 29, there is a Mr. Mime that you just saw. I didn't record him accidentally, but he's there. And that's so much, so you gotta actually like pause the video and see one of the Pokemons that I did not catch. Now that's, you don't have to do that. I'm just proving to you guys that I actually did catch the Pokemon, that I did catch every single Pokemon and had some of them traded over to me and others to, which I'll go later on once I'm done with my thoughts on this Pokemon game and my let's play and everything once I talk about the after game portion I'll talk about how I went about catching these Pokemon so I'll leave everything in its own certain section I had a pause because I feel like I've been talking too much I've been talking for 30 minutes jeez I've been talking about like a lot of I don't even know what I'm talking about <laughs> so this is a podcast for you guys um, I'm not actually winging this. Um, I actually did have a plan. I just didn't have the ideas plan of what exactly I'm going to be talking about. But I just want to talk about in general how my process of this game and how I went about doing it. So now that we finished the after game, I mean now that we finished the actual game, let's go to the after game. The after game is consisted of me catching the Pokemon. Completed the Pokedex. Hon honestly, the, the after game was supposed to be me capturing every single Pokemon. Which... Ended up being that and actually completing the after game. So the first two episodes consisted of me actually catching those Pokemon. Really, it did. I mean, those first two Pokemon, I thought it was going to be possible to catch every Pokemon along with me trying to, what's I'm going to call it? So the plan for the after game, I know I'm saying it multiple times, but the point of the after game was to capture every Pokemon while doing the after game at the same time. And guess what? That was not going to be possible, guys. That was not going to be possible. <laughs> Funny, right? So, that didn't happen. <laughs> so, what I instead decided to do was that the remaining of the episodes, which was 3, 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, I believe, or 8, I think... I just did the after game completely. I just did screw it. I'm just going to do the after game. Just the after game. So that's exactly what I did. And then once I did that. Now I started recording different sections. Of me catching every Pokemon. Which you're exactly seeing right now. So now let's talk about the Pokedex. And how I went about catching every Pokemon. So. For those who are interested on how I went about catching every Pokemon. Let me tell you. This catching process took me several months, probably two months, but in reality, it took me a couple of days, like 40 days. If I were to add up all the timing and everything and all of that, it probably would add up to probably three, four days, maybe in a week, or probably less, a little bit less than that. Now, the reason why it, I, uh, it took me a short amount, I think that's a short amount of time, right, to catch every Pokemon. Uh, if you had not already caught him from a previous Pokemon game. Now, what I mean by that is by the time that I actually started speeding up the process, like actually getting on the mood of catching every Pokemon, Pokemon Home and Pokemon, uh, yeah, Pokemon Home was introduced. And that was my key to actually completing the Pokedex. 
Um, that's why you're seeing the scenes of transfer. I think it was like three minutes ago. You're going to see uh, Pokemons that were being transferred. Like transfer 1, transfer 2, and transfer 3. Those Pokemon came from Pokemon Ultra Sun or Sun, I believe. I transferred some of my Pokemon Battle Ready. I transferred them over to my game. So... That's what that happened. That sped up my Pokedex completion so much. It went from 190, which was at some point in the 20 minute mark or the 25 minute mark, to 200, maybe even 300. Actually, 280. 280. That sped up my process that fast. And let me tell you before I move on to the Pokedex, let me talk about this capture. You just saw a shiny Dorilodon. Bro. I wanted a shiny Dorilla. I wanted a Dorilla Don Gigantamax, but to add a shiny, yo, I wish I glued my reaction, but that'd be too much editing for this episode, <laughs> I believe, honestly. But guess what? Guess what? It happened. That is exactly what happened. I caught the shiny Dorilla Don, and my my dream came true. I love I love Dorilla Don, and the fact that it actually came through at the very end, I am very thankful. I am very um. How thankful that that probably will be my favorite dragon type of this game. Maybe not in general of all eight generations or nine generations. Oh, eight generations. He might not be my favorite, but he came in clutch, and I'm glad I got a shiny version of him. So now going back on the Pokedex. So most of my process just came mostly of catching every Pokemon in the wide area, and that was like probably like thirty percent, forty percent actually. I want to say that was 40% of my work. Uh, the other 40% came from Pokemon Bank slash Pokemon Home. The other 20% consisted of um, Goki Gamer and the Phantom Michael actually helping me out catch your um, transforming exclusive Pokemons such as Ponyta and Rapidash, um, the Galarian forms. Uh, another one consisted of Shiny, I mean, Corsola and the Ghost Corsola. I mean, it's Corsola and Cursula. Those are the ones that came in clutch. Another one was like uh, the Ice Cube, which I still haven't shown. It might be towards the end, not here. Um, crap, I forgot. I think it's like you guys are going to see it in the next five minutes, I believe. My money's on the next five minutes, but whatever. Um, so those are some of the Pokemon that I captured that was help being traded on. So I'm glad for that. Had it not been for that assistance, I believe, even to this day, I would still be catching Pokemon. I Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Because my luck for catching all these secret 0.4% um, of capture rate, or like encounter rate, would have been ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was not going to go through all that pain and suffering of catching every single Pokemon. I'm sorry, guys. But I was not going to go through that pain. And that's exactly what I did. I was not going to go through that, so I went through Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Home. And that's pretty much how the Pokedex went about. Now, something that was pretty interesting is finding out about these new Pokemon were ridiculously interesting. Like the Snorm Pokemon. Uh, there was a lot of memes about it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like they had a, a meme with Snorm catching the knife, like holding the knife. Now, that was ridiculously funny. Now, if we talk about Snorm's evolution, it's just beautiful. Like some of these Pokemon's evolutions are actually beautiful. Not gonna lie. These Pokemon are so amazing. Like, Stone Drinner is a very interesting Pokemon. Apparently, it's a good Pokemon. Now, some of the Pokemon that I still don't actually have, like, on me, like, on my Pokemon game, is like Dracovish, um, Arctozoat, Arctovish, one of those Pokemon. I do not have them. I got traded to me just to get registered on my Pokedex, but I had to return it back. That's just, that's that's how that process was done. So if I actually were to look into my Pokedex, I do not. Ha I mean, into my excuse me, into my PC, I don't. As a matter of fact, don't have those Pokemon on me. So if you're trying to complete the Pokedex, I can only help you so much. I can only help you so much on completing it. So if you guys are some of the people that need a shiny charm and you guys are shiny hunting, unfortunately, I cannot help you all the way. I could help you um, like about 70% there. I could help you with 70% of the Pokedex, but I cannot help you with the last half. Actually, I might be able to too. My bad. I could give you baby Pokemons of the ones that you need. And then from there on, you could do the rest. 
Um, but when it comes to the fossil Pokemon, I do not have those fossils. I can only get two of you. I could hook you up with two, but I can't hook you up with all of them. Uh, that's why if you guys definitely check out the Venom Michael and Goki Gamer. Actually, my bad. Goki Gamer does not have his Pokedex completed. Shame on him. But the Venom Michael does, so if you comment down below and you ask for assistance in the Poke, uh, for completing the Pokedex, he will definitely help you out. I will also be free to do so. Just let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try my very best and get to you as fast as possible. Because I am a busy man. Not with YouTube, but in real life. <laughs> Being in college is just busy. Even with the fact that this epidemic is causing this college courses to be transferred to Zoom. Um, that's crazy. That's just crazy. But yeah. So, I apologize if you guys hear the fan in the back of my game. Of my, my, uh, I mean, you can hear it in the background. That's actually my Mac heating up for whatever reason. So, if you guys are thinking of getting a Mac to edit, if you're going to just use it for editing, I think it's perfectly fine, but if you're using the Mac to do recordings, I don't think it's the best option. So if you want to get the best of both worlds, I think a Razer would be better off. Uh, it worked for my friend, so it may work for you. So that's that. So now that I'm actually done talking about my journey with completing the Pokedex, the Pokemon game, everything, now let's get on our to the section of what I'm going to do next. Because there's only the last three minutes of this recording anyways. So, some of the things I want to do in the future is... I'm definitely going to be doing um, Wi-Fi battles. So, I do got a couple of competitive teams ready. I still got to do a little bit more super training and all that jazz. You guys already know. I still have to do some of that. But I will be doing Wi-Fi battles. I might do the ranked battles as a series on its own. And after that, I, have a, I might be... Actually, you know what? I'm interested in doing IBA Draft League. So if you guys are... If one of you people are actually made it to the very end of this episode. And you are one of those leaders. I would definitely like to be part of your team. And part of this IBA Draft League. Or whatever the league might be. I'm up for the Pokemon competitive. I am up for it. And I'm willing to be part of the team. Because I just love battling. And you're going to see it in the coming weeks. So... You guys are going to see it. You're gonna, there's going to be Wi-Fi battles. There's going to be all this. Now, there is one project still left I need to do. Now, that's the Ouija's Mansion 3. Now, those episodes are going to get to you as soon as possible. Um, my voice is dying right now. I don't know if you guys realize that. But this is going to be the last recording of March 14th for right now. Until I get my voice back. So, in the meantime, I'm just going to be doing a lot of editing. Um... So yeah, <laughs> wow, there's a, a lot of things I'm talking about, Jesus, um, so yeah, so those are the future projects I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to be doing Wi-Fi battles, and then once, that's going to be, that should be, you should be expecting that once I'm done with Luigi's Mansion 3, and maybe I might do in between, but, um, for the most part, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing um, Luigi's Mansion 3. Once that's finished, like completely and done with, just the game, uh, I will be doing ranked battles and all that extra Pokemon Sword and Shield content. Now, once that is done, then I'm going to bring in more other content. I'm going to be not going to be packing myself with too many projects. So, um, so for the future, now since I'm... Uh, <laughs> I think I'm... Gonna last long in the 40 minutes. Jeez. Wow. I love conversating. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I love playing Pokemon and... Jeez. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I, I honestly, literally, my mind went blank for right now. So anyways. What's in it? So, so the f for the future, expect Luigi's Mansion 3. Then I'm at the Wi-Fi slash rank battles on this channel. Then once that's done, there is some other projects that I will be doing. And some of those projects are, uh, I can't spoil it. Um, can I? As, mm, if you guys have been paying attention to the Twitter, then you might, into some of these channels, you might know what I'm talking about, but screw it. So, 
we uh me and a couple of other friends are doing a cage lock, a Pokemon Sword and Shield cage lock. Now, if you guys were paying attention, I did say that this is gonna I will be using a score bunny. Yes. So score bunny is gonna get introduced and used on the cage lock. Now I think the scene is gonna go back to me because I just finished the the scene of me catching every Pokemon possible that I have recorded anyways. So all I'm gonna be talking about is the process of how the Black 2 and Volt White 2 project. So if you made it this far, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up instead of you giving me a thumbs up because you guys are the real MVPs. And what I wanna talk about is the process is gonna take maybe until April because right now the project stands at three episodes. Now I've recorded we've recorded up to eight episodes up to now. Now those remaining um five of the episodes might be released before May and sometime in April. I don't know because Goki Gamer is actually editing this series. Um that's how we agreed on that he'll edit this series out because I did do pretty much I managed to keep up the season one soul link alive because of me because I edited that half. So Goki Gamer volunteered to do this series. So he's doing this series and he's doing little edits as possible to make this episode faster. But then again, he has other projects to do. So so give him time and episodes will be released in their respected time. So whenever Goki Gamer gets around to editing those episodes, they will be uploaded to YouTube as soon as possible. So don't, don't put it on Goki for this project lasting for forever. I mean... These episodes are art. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, the eighth episode that we recorded up to now is going to be worth the wait. Honestly, it's going to be worth the wait. Even though with me and my stupidity and with episodes one, two, and three, even with that stupidity there, <laughs> episode eight is an episode you must definitely not skip. Even though it's the very last episode that we recorded up to now. Ooh, that's an episode you do not want to miss. Jesus. I, I, I'm even waiting. I cannot wait. Uh, actually, if you guys think your guys are waiting forever, I feel like I'm waiting forever because I won't be able to see that episode until you guys see the episode. So whenever that episode goes live, that'll be my first time watching that episode with you guys. So with that being said, I think that wraps up today's episode on the podcast. I think I've been recording for way too long. I've been recording for almost an hour. So yikes, yikes. Um, I don't want this episode to be dragged on too long. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this podcast, um, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, this is my first podcast in such a long time. I haven't done a podcast in forever and I've been recording for a while now. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and this podcast and this is the final episode. And I hope here it is to make it more beautiful content. And beautiful commentary in the future because this is if this was horrible I promise you this next couple of episodes will be definitely much better off <laughs> that's not gonna win and with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I know I said that multiple times um I am Gio so I am that I'm prone to doing that <laughs> I'm prone to doing that so with that being said this is awesome Joey team signing out see you in the future Thanks.